Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm making stewed fish red snapper with plantains, onions and green peppers. It's a Caribbean style with cabbage. And so we're gonna get started. I have my red snapper here already washed. I have my diced tomatoes, adobo, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, my lemons, and the plantains. I'm gonna get some garlic out of the refrigerator. Some minced ginger and minced garlic. So I'm gonna start off by melting a stick of butter in the pan. And I left my green pepper and onion in the refrigerator. I wanna get that out. And I have cilantro here. Rinse that off. Cut, give that a cut. I'll put that in a pan with the melted butter. Get that nice and cut up. Oh, if you can smell the cilantro. I love the smell of cilantro. All right, let me get my onion and green pepper. My onion, which I had left over. I'm just giving it a rough chop. Okay, put that in the pan. I do my green pepper. And it doesn't matter what size these are. Um, I'm not getting them real small because I like my green pepper kind of cubed up with a nice size. I like to bite a green pepper. So, I'm going to get that in there. All right. So, I'm going to get the garlic ginger in there. All right. And the minced garlic. peppers smell so good I want to slice up my lemon to put the lemons in the pan all right put these lemons in the pan this lemon here I'm just gonna get the juice out of it and squeeze it in the pan. Now, I'm gonna, well, let me slice up the plantain since this is already here before I get the fish in. And it's supposed to be dark like this because you want the sweetness of the plantain in the meal. I guess you can use the green plantains, but the sweet ones are taste so much better in this dish. And we're just gonna get that, take that off, give it a chop. And I hope you all are doing well today. 
I'm going to take the ends off. I don't like the ends. And we're going to put that in. And we're going to season up our fish. So I'm going to season it with some adobo. I'm going to get the inside too. Season the outside. Let me pour some of this water off. And I leave the heads on because it gives the fish a full flavor. And I like the heads on the fish. And the onion powder, I just put in garlic powder, I'm putting on the fish. That's gonna massage that in. So let me rinse my hands off and I'm gonna put those diced tomatoes in. Okay, I'm back. I got the diced tomatoes. I'm gonna drop that in there. So I'm gonna give that a stir and I'm gonna season this up a little bit. Use some onion powder, olive powder, the black pepper, and the adobo. About a cup of water in here, a little less than a cup. I'll let you see it first before I put the fish in. Okay. And this is what it looks like. All right. So I got my fish. It's well seasoned. I'm going to lay it on top. Got the fish. Lay it on top. And I'm going to give that a good cover. And I'm gonna put that on simmer. It was on medium. So now I'm gonna do the cabbage. I'm gonna cut it. All right, so let me cut up this cabbage. I got some um, fat back. I'll get that fat back in the pan. And just a few pieces. One, two, three, four. That's about seven pieces. I'm gonna turn that on. <clears throat> I'm put some water in the pan. Put that in the pan for the cabbage. And I'm just gonna cut this up. And that was about a cup, a cup and a quarter, quarter cup, oh quart. A cup and a quarter of water. <laughs> it rhymes. So I got my cabbage cut up. I'm going to rinse that off and put it in the pan with the water. I had the sugar out because I was going to cut it with the um, tomatoes. Put some in there to cut the acidity. But I decided not to. And that was in the, um, in the stew fish. I changed my mind about that. So I'm going to just season the cabbage. That was black pepper. This is some olive powder. Onion powder. And some adobo. And I'm gonna cover that with some aluminum foil and let that cook down. So I got that covered. I'm gonna check on my fish. I'll let you see the fish. And that is looking scrumptious. And I think I'm gonna make some rice in the meantime. So y'all all should know how to make rice, but <clears throat> By now, 
since I had showed rice on a couple of my videos, but it's going to be one cup of rice to two cups water and just boil that till the water is out. I switched out the pot and um, pan and got a pot instead. I got my rice on. My stew fish is still going in the pan. I want to let you look at it. I flipped over the fish. Well, hopefully you can see that. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. But my cabbage is cooking back here too. I'll let you see that. Okay. I'm going to show you the fish. It's about done. I'm letting it simmer. But it smells so good. Oh my God. I hope this picture is a good picture of the fish. I got my rice on. My rice is almost done. And the cabbage is simmering on down. It's where I like it, but my mom likes it almost to where it's mush. <laughs> but so we're gonna compromise and get it halfway. So I'm gonna let that cook for another couple of minutes. I'm gonna try it. Oh, that's pretty good right there. But we'll let that cook another two minutes. So everything is done. I'm going to plate the dish and get everything on the plate. This is my rice. i get some cabbage on here. Okay, now I'm going to get the fish. And the fish is so beautiful. Oh my God. It's falling apart. All right, get that on there. Now I'm going to get some of these plantains. And sauce on the plate get that on there put some of this sauce on the fish okay I'll let you see it I'm gonna give it a taste all right Oh, delicious. The rice. With the plantain. Now that's hot. That's delicious. Oh my God. And the cabbage. I almost burnt my mouth up. Mm. So, stew fish, cabbage and rice. How about that? Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.